Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It's your boy, Crypto Siege, with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is cryptocurrency. What is good, guys? What is going on? I just wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys today. I got a little inspiration, uh, inspiration from my boy, Digital Asset Investor. I uh, was excited to see. I think I saw it yesterday. Noticed that he has sub subbed, has subscribed to the channel. So uh, that was pretty cool. It was really, really awesome. Followed that guy a lot. Learned a lot from him as well as uh, many others in the awesome sauce that is the XRP community. So, guys, I just wanted to shoot a quick video about vision. Uh, you know, uh, we're blessed. We have a couple of businesses and uh, we get a chance to kind of teach and grow teams, grow some big teams. And one of our principles uh, that we like to share is vision, you know, being able to share um, with, um, you know, if you're in a leadership position, you, you want to be able to cast a vision for where you and the people that you work for together are going. And uh, my mentor always said to me that the definition of vision is seeing it before the masses see it. The definition of vision is seeing it before the masses see it. And so I wanted to share with you something that, uh, you know, we discovered a couple of months ago that Fidelity Investments um, had started a subdivision, if you will, their own subdivision, and it was uh, going to be titled Fidelity Digital Assets, right? So we heard about this a couple of months ago. It's FidelityDigitalAssets.com. And just understand that Fidelity Investments, right, they manage, what, uh, $7.2 or $7.3 trillion in assets, right? Just, you know, wrap your mind around that for a second. $7.2 or $3 trillion in assets. And I love what it says here, on the, and this is on their homepage. Fidelity Digital Assets, Institutional Solutions for a New asset class. And uh, that's what I want to share with you guys a little bit about uh, uh, today, a new asset class. And that new asset class is the digital assets, the digital asset class. And so, well, you know, so when I thought about this for a second, I was thinking about it. It made me realize when I saw this on Fidelity's site, how blessed we are to be in a position that we are, where we are in the beginning, in the innovative stage of this new asset class. We're in the beginning, right? We got here before Fidelity. We got here before Bank of America. We got here before the NASDAQ and uh, and the likes before ICE and back came around, right? So we're new early into this new asset class. And I just, it made me think about, you know, just thinking about what if we were in the beginning of, of these other asset classes that got started way back when uh, and he's, here are some of the asset classes here, real estate, equities, cash, commodities, fixed income, and equities. Just imagine being in the beginning of just, you know, of just one of these asset classes. Just one. Just imagine being, you know, to be in the beginning of, you know, the, the gold, silver, the precious metals asset class. And, you know, to have owned or have in possession some of those early asset classes like commodities or real estate, right? Just imagine where you would be. And um, I know I was watching a digital asset uh, investor, uh, I think it was today, maybe it was yesterday, and he was talking about, you know, kind of the history of the different asset classes. Uh, I don't remember all that he spoke about, but I know he talked about gold and, you know, the first really kind of exchange of gold took place, you know, you know, I don't know, 3000 BC. So, so if I remember correctly, think about that. And he talked about stocks, that stock asset class got started in the early 1600s, 1600s. And so here it is today, still around, still doing its thing. And I think uh, another one was 1693. And I don't know if that was real estate or if that was, um, if that was equities, but that was another asset class. So just kind of remember, just think about that. Think about the history of asset classes, how long they've been around. And imagine if you had your spot, you were positioned early in this new, in a, in a new asset class like real estate or equities, and you're able to position yourself. It's in essence what you're doing. And in essence, what we have the ability to do is to set up generational income from what we do today in this new asset class that is digital assets. And if you don't believe me, 
just go to Fidelity, uh, FidelityDigitalAssets.com and check them out. Here's one interesting thing that I thought was, it says the evolution. It says digital asset basics, first of all, right? The evolution of digital cash. And so Fidelity Digital Assets is educating, is beginning to educate their institutional clients about what's going on. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The definition of vision is seeing it before the masses see it. This is about institutional solutions. So this is their big high-end clients that they're educating first. Do you, you see what I'm saying? And what you want to do, what you have a chance to do is to take advantage of this new asset class. So, you know, I, you know, we always looked at it as an opportunity to change the history, you know, of our family financially, right? Change the history of our families financially. You know, lead this massive legacy for our children's children's children. And that's what we have here. And this new asset class that is the digital asset class, the evolution of digital cash is huge. So just think about that for a second and what that means. I got this from um, someone that, um, uh, the Jurassic investor, again, <laughs> I recommended checking out. And it's uh, his site, he's an XRP in, uh, investor, community member. And this is his site, it's stedasthetis.hr. He has great info, infographics. So, you know, great graphics and on pertinent, you know, information, you know, especially for the XRP community, but as a whole for the cryptocurrency space. And it's talking about crypto. He did a great, this is a great chart on crypto versus the global market. And this is really to kind of give you an idea of where you are, especially if you hold some digital assets, even if you hold, you hold something like Bitcoin, okay, um, you, you hold a digital asset, right? You hold a digital asset just so early in the game, so early in the game. And, uh, you know, I believe in my humble and humblest of humblest opinion that one day we will, simp we, will, we will just live off the digital assets. It won't be, you know, right now, first, you know, this next five years, you know, sure, we may have to cash out the digital asset and uh, or at least portions of it and, you know, kind of transfer that and kind of to the into the fiat world because we're still in that. But, you know, seven, nine, ten years from now, I, I firmly believe that will not be the case. We'll be we'll be living in a digital world, digital assets, very much like China does, like China does today. Everything's all digital, you know. And so, you know, it'll be a time and, you know, a lot of these companies are starting to come out now. Crypto.com um, is one of them. A lot of, you know, cards and or card companies where you just kind of you um, exchange kind of the crypto, the value of the crypto for just regular dollars. And you just have that card and you live your life from those cards. Right. And, and that's the new world that we're going to be in. So we're early with that. But crypto versus the global markets. And I just want to give you an idea of these asset classes and the different things uh, and the value of the marketplace in terms of uh, market cap. So let's look at this um, crypto market is. 370 billion. Now, I'm not sure if it's even that today. Top 10 billionaires, 600 and 680 billion. Coins and banknotes, 7.6 trillion. 7.6 trillion. The global stock market, again, it was in the early 1600s when the stock market started, when that asset class started, 73 trillion. 73 trillion <laughs> and global real estate is at 217 trillion and you look at the crypto market it's i don't even know if it's 370 billion just i don't, I don't even think it's that much i mean i mean the crypto market just went down 20 billion just from yesterday alone so you do you see the potential i mean can you imagine yourself in a position um, that your portfolio holds the top 10, 15 in some way, shape, form, or fashion, right? Um, we all know that the greatest digital asset today that's ever been created is the XRP, uh, is XRP. We all know that. We all know that. But just imagine being early in the game like we are in your whole positions. And you have an opportunity, if you will, to um, take positions at 
47% at 50% up to whatever you'd like to. Would you like to take positions up to $10? Would you like to take positions up to when XRP, XRP becomes $100? Would you like to take positions up until XRP becomes $200 or $500? Whatever it is, you are in a position to set up not only yourself, not only your children, but your children's children with arguably the greatest digital asset ever created in, in XRP. And don't get me wrong, in the top 10, because of what's happening with institutional money, are going to benefit from it. So Bitcoin's going to benefit when institutional money comes. Ethereum will benefit when institutional money. Even Bitcoin Cash and that madness, the madness that is Bitcoin Cash will benefit from institutional money. EOS is going to benefit from uh, when institutional money comes in. So if you hold positions or small positions on those, you'll be able to benefit from those as well. But I wanted to shoot this video for you to guys to, to get this. The definition of vision is seeing it before the masses see it. We, digital assets, have become a new asset class. And so you can put it right in this little space here. It's going to be digital assets. And the greatest digital asset ever created right now is XRP. So if you are an XRP holder, you obviously are in a great position. Now, um, <laughs> it's like having the first few chunks of or pieces of gold, in my humble opinion. Guys, never forget this. Old money doesn't want you or I to win. Old money wants us to remain a cog in the wheel that is trading our time for dollars. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. The battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.